welcome back to Inside Korea where we learn Korean together in a fun and authentic way. I'm Sohee and we are going to use the Korean drama Queen of Tears to learn Korean today. The drama revolves around Park kyung a successful lawyer, and Hong Hae-in, heiress to an influential family. The two married because of love, but as Hyunwoo found himself suffocated in the relationship, he tries to find a way out of the marriage. In today's video, we are going to pick a few scenes from the drama to learn Korean vocabulary and two grammar structures. All of the lesson notes can be downloaded in the link below. I've organized them in a PDF, so if you like it, do go and check it out. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. In the first scene, Hain talks about Hyunwoo's reaction when he first found out that she's actually an heiress. 내가 누구 딸인지 알고 나서 내가 누구 딸인지 알고 나서 After knowing whose daughter I am 누구, who or whose 딸, daughter 알다 is to know. So the 고 나서 ending is usually used when an action is completely being done. So it's like after he knows. 충격받은 그 사람이 충격받은 그 사람이 충격 is a shock. 받다 is to receive. 사람, a person. So that person was shocked. 사직서를 내고 사직서를 내고 사직서 a resignation letter. 내다 is to give. You can use this verb to say to give application form or homework or even to give money to pay. 잠수를 타버리더라고요. 잠수를 타버리더라고요. 잠수를 타다. 잠수 means to dive and it's like to be under water. And the verb we use 타다. And together is actually means like when somebody's under the water, they usually like ghosting you. They disappeared. In the sentence, the grammar verb plus a or o parida is being used. And this grammar pattern conveys the idea of completing an action and indicating a sense of finality or completeness, often with a nuance of regret satisfaction or emphasis. In the sample sentence, 잠수를 타버리더라고요, Hayne uses this ending to show emphasize and also her disbelief over Hyunwoo's reaction and she kind of cannot believe that he actually has ghosted her. Other sentences, 먹다, to eat, we change it, conjugate it, 먹어, and then we put 버리다 in the end. 먹어 버리다. 밥을 다 먹어 버렸어요. It shows with a sense of completion that I finished all the rice. Another sentence. 놓치다 is to miss something. We conjugate it. 놓쳐 버리다. It's like to have missed something with a sense of regret or disappointment. For example, 기회를 놓쳐버렸어요. I missed the opportunity. In the second scene, Hyunwoo complained about his unhappy marriage to his friend and he expressed regret over how he was being too attractive to Hain, so he ended up in this marriage. Why? Why? is from the adjective 귀엽다 to be cute. So here he was like, why I was being cute and used my signature move. Pirsargi, so when you want to attract someone, maybe you have something to show them. And in his case, is like being too cute while he was drunk. So that is to use. Wait, 설레게 만들고. 
Hong Hae-in is the female protagonist's name. 설레게 만들다, 만들다 to make. 설레게 만들다 is to make someone's heart flutter. 나뭇잎 뜯으면서. 나뭇잎 뜯으면서. 나뭇잎 is a leaf, and 뜯다 is to tear off something. So 으면서 is like while I do something. So while I'm like tearing off the leaves. 이혼한다, 안 한다 하잖아. 이혼한다, 안 한다 하잖아. 이혼하다 is to get a divorce. So here he was basically like tearing off the leaves to decide if he should do this or not. Like to get a divorce. <laughs> 그럼 안 난다로 나와 안 난다. So the results always like do not get a divorce. 나와 is from the verb 나오다 to come out. So this is the result. 열번열번다 그렇게 나와. 열번 하면 열번다 그렇게 나와. 열 번. 10 times. So here we are using the Korean way to count this number of how many times. 다, all, 그렇게, like that. 지구상에 단한 명도 내 편이 없어. 지구상에 단한 명도 내 편이 없어. 지구상. 지구 is the earth. 상 is like on. So on this earth, 단, only, 한 명, only one person. So 명 is the unit to count a person. 없어, there is none. There's no one on this earth is 내 편, is on my side. 나뭇잎 한 입만큼도 내 편이 없다고. 나뭇잎 한 입만큼도 내 편이 없다고. So not even the leaves are on his side. And to that, his friend replied, 난 아무도 내편안 들어주고 그... 난 아무도 내편안 들어주고 난 아무도 nobody 내편 on my side. So the verb is 들어주다 to be or to get on my side. 건물 있었으면 좋겠어. 그냥 건물 있었으면 좋겠어. 건물, a building. So his friend was like, mm, it's okay, like, even though, like, nobody's on my side, I'll be happy just with a building. His friend expressed his wish with this grammar pattern. Verb or adjective plus at or ot 쓰면 좋겠다. The grammar pattern is used to express a wish or a hope about a situation. And for the first part of this structure, verb or adjective plus at or asumyan, you can see that they try to change this to conjugate it into its past tense first. And then we have umyan to show that this is actually under this condition. So if, if, this situation happened, then I will be happy. It's good. 좋겠다. So it's an expression of a desire or a wish. We can see that in this example sentence, 그냥 건물 있었으면 좋겠어. So 있다, to have. 있었다 is the past tense form. So 있었으면 좋겠어. So it'd be great if I only have this building. Other sentences. 놀러 왔으면 좋겠어요. 놀러 오다 is to come and play. So 오다 past tense 왔다. So 왔으면 I wish you had come to hang out. And the other example. 더 열심히 공부했으면 좋겠어요. 공부하다, to study, past tense, 공부했다. So, 더, more, 열심히, to work hard. So, 더 열심히 공부했으면 좋겠어요. I wish I had studied harder. And in the last scene, Hain reviewed her illness to Hyunwoo just before he was about to hand in the divorce settlement agreement to her. 
죽는데. 나 죽는데. 나 죽는데. So this is like an indirect speech. So that is like what the doctor said to her. So she's now just repeating. So 죽다 to die. So the doctor said, I am dying. 석달 정도 남았대. 석달 정도 남았대. 석달, three months 정도, around. 남다 is left. Hearing this, Hyunwoo was actually over the moon, but he tried to hide his emotions and excitement because then, after three months, he can possibly get out of this marriage without anyone knowing that he secretly wanted a divorce. Like this kind of learning? Watch more videos on this playlist to learn Korean with Korean dramas. See you there!